Welcome to another beginner's lesson. Today we're going to do a water beetle. Now this is a water beetle with a bit of a difference. It's something I totally devised myself. I think you'll find it's fairly easy to tie and I'm quite sure it'll work for you. So right, let's get started. Hopefully you'll find this interesting. This I'm tying on a size 10 long shank hook. It's a lightweight, it's a Camasan 830, and the object of the exercise is to make it as light as possible. At some stage, everybody will have come across uh, water beetles, and you don't find very many good patterns. Now this is the, the, the block, the plasters up blocking, cut into, into nice little squares, um, at the same material as you use for your booby heads. Make sure you tie it nice and securely on the top of the hook. That part's the easy bit. Now this next material is something called straggle frets. Again, when I first got it, I was a bit pushed as to know what to do with it. People raved about the virtues of straggle fritz and, and to be honest I wasn't having a lot of great deal of success with it but be messing around and in the, con the course of conversation with someone water, water beetles came up and so I've started little things going in my head so I thought we'll try and do a water beetle and I hope you'll like what we're doing water beetle carries a little sack of air under its body. That's why I'm doing this. It's, I can't even tell you what this material is called. I happened to get a hank of it, which I picked up somewhere. I don't even know where I picked it up or what it's called. But that's meant to represent the, the, the water, the air bubble under the beetle. Struggle for it, I'm not doing it, so I'm keeping them well apart, the turns. Tying it down nice and securely again. Now I'm going to pull the body over the top. Don't pull it too far. You, if you pull it too far, you take a lot of the air out and it won't float so well. that point out. Now can you see we've got little legs underneath. We're going to chop that down to make its head and you've got a water beetle. Try one. See how you get on. That'd be interesting to know if you have any success. I would suggest you fish it with a sinking line on a fairly short leader so you get it going up and down as you retrieve. Some of the more ridiculous creations I've been making of late I've been giving to a friend of mine and I haven't tried him with this one yet and he's been having amazing success with them. Do that and there we have the, the head. All you've got to do then is trim off the corners but there you have a little water beetle. Just a touch of varnish on the tying out thread. I think you'll find this one's a little bit different to anything we've done before. I don't normally push in patterns I've devised myself, but this one I think might just be a winner, so I would suggest you give it a go. If you want to know more details about this and any other flies that we tie, don't hesitate to visit our site www.learnflytying.co.uk And that's it from me, Dave Camis and the team, happy fishing.